Greetings, Dennis Daniels here. Uh, this is a little demonstration of my ideas on Fresnel lenses, Fresnel or Fresnel lenses if you speak French. Ideas and questions. <clears throat> I'm using Gliffy. I'll go ahead and publish this. Uh, and we'll take it to a web page so we can navigate a little more faster. F11. Okay. Uh, Fresnel lenses, for those of you who are not familiar with them, uh, come in lots of shapes and sizes. They are fairly cheap uh, to pur purchase and produce quite a bit of concentrated energy. Let me see if I can pull open a <clears throat> YouTube demonstration of some of those Fresnel lenses. What can you do with high intensity light radiation? Here's the sun. Uh, it passes through passes through the Fresnel lens and when it gets hot it can melt glass sorry about this uh, it can melt glass <clears throat> maybe to uh, melt glass you know, I'm thinking for this purpose um, putting a Fresnel lens into the right hands people who need more <clears throat> energy um, of course, it's concentrated light energy, uh, and I'm referring all of this to uh, Frain and his Humwinger, Humdinger Wimband energy generator. What can you do when you have very few resources with uh, your resources to create new tools, new applications? Fresnel lens, thin beam of light radiation. Uh, with that, you could perhaps cook food, power a thermoelectric device, uh, create beam of light that would then be transferred into fiber optics for lighting houses, etc. You could maybe drive a steam engine by heating, superheating the water to a point where it begins to generate steam, to generate electricity. Of course, you can boil water with it. <clears throat> um, you can maybe make a solar forge. I touched on it briefly, use it melt glass and maybe melt glass to make other Fresnel lenses. Let me show you what a Fresnel lens can do. Uh, Fresnel lens. And, <clears throat> all right, you can see here, um, I believe that's melting glass. This is powering a solar, uh, a Fresnel, a Fresnel uh, Sterling engine. Um, here is, I think that's the solar, I think that's the, uh, steam generator. This is the solar heater and that's the, another use for using the Fresnel lens as a magnifying glass. But you can boil water and melt glass and cook cement and you create a very intense beam of energy. <clears throat> now what can you do with that beam of energy? Which is my big problem or big question rather because <clears throat> Uh, what can you do with intent with super high intensity light radiation? You can of course burn stuff. Uh, maybe you can purify water. Maybe you can well with that high piece a high energy beam of light you can melt glass or asphalt things like that. And I I show all of this or I share all of these ideas uh, with you because I think there's some potential there. If these devices, if the Fresnel lens is given into people, put into people's hands who have, um, who have resource problems uh, in terms of uh, not having a whole lot of materials at their available, that they can do other things with it that we um, in the developed world would not otherwise consider because we have solved or for the time being have solved some of our own immediate energy needs um, but the need that we have set the needs that we have satisfied have not been satisfied elsewhere so maybe by using the available resources or cheap retail cheap materials cheap resources like Fresnel lenses uh, other things other devices other tools can be used created etc I hope I made some sense here. This has been um, quite interesting for me to come up with some of these ideas. Uh, of course, I stole ideas from wherever I could, uh, and I 
give credit wherever I can. Um, but the inspiration really comes from Frayn in his Humdinger wind band generator. Got me thinking about how to use common, uh, relatively inexpensive resource for uncommon uses. You could say uh, you could check this out on your own at gliffy.com slash publish one three four one nine six zero. Thanks for watching and happy computing.